been uh, probably the best year in my career in terms of uh, happiness, in terms of uh, motivation. I've been working with the team very close from January. Then arrived Bahrain, first race with this fantastic team, won the first race, so amazing feeling. Fernando Alonso wins! Italy has a new hero, Spain already had one. Oh, Alonso there facing the wrong way. That's not the uh, Fernando Alonso we know, love and despise all at the same time, is it? That's not good news for Fernando Alonso. Jump start for Alonso, there's no doubt about it. Alonso would jump the start. This is how Alonso passed Massa coming into the pit lane. Fernando Alonso starting from the pit lane after crashing in practice. Surely he's cut the corner. Drive through penalty. He will be seeding. Alonso has got another championship contender. Fails to score points. Some up and downs in the middle of the season, but then arrive some updates in the car. Arriving in Germany, winning that race as well. We're close to some coded messages here, I think. Fernando is faster than you, Felipe, or something. Fernando is faster than you. Good lad. Just stick with him now. Sorry. Fernando Alonso wins again for Ferrari. But it's not all champagne for Felipe Massa. What a feeling for Fernando Alonso. It's Forza Ferrari, Forza Fernando, and the championship challenge is back on. Winning in Monza for the Italian Grand Prix, then Singapore again. And Fernando Alonso, from pole to flag, has set the standard again. I think uh, I recover some of the feelings that I miss in the last two years, that uh, we were racing just to to be in Q3 because we had some difficulties with the car performance. So this year with a competitive car again, I came back to the 2005-6-7 feeling. Being able to be on pole or being able to be in the podium and taste the champagne and uh, all these kind of things that uh, I was missing the last two years. He now leads the championship with two races to go. <laughs>